Live Road 8 Club in studio with a, another video. Um, a couple of weeks, or well, more like a month and a half back, I painted up some um, French troops for the Silver Bayonet, former war band. Um, and I'm now painting up some of the villains. Um, the first solo scenario calls for dark wolves and werewolves. So I'm going to paint these up for that game. Um, the wolf models are from uh, Warlord Games. They're from the Mythic Americas um, expansion for Warlords of Erewhon. And the werewolf is from North Star, uh, part of the Dracula's America range. Um, for the priming, um, I got some Colorforge Raven Black, which is a very, very, very dark grey. Um, and some Colorforge um, Matte White and did a Zenithal uh, Prime from above there. Um, as I need 10 of these wolves, well, potentially uh, even more, but I've got 10 of these wolves um, and two werewolves, I'm wanting to come up with a really quick scheme. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the werewolf and basically everything that applies to um, the werewolf's fur will apply to the wolves. So I've got Citadel Black Templar um, and a big, um, probably watercolour brush, um, which is good for painting large areas. Um, so this contrast paint is going to flow into the recesses in the fur and where we've got the white primed area as it flows into the recesses, it leaves the lighter area on top. And that does our highlighting for us. Some of the bare flesh on the werewolf um, is going to get painted differently later. So I'm avoiding the less hairy areas. And I'll continue in this fashion over the two werewolves and ten dark wolves. So we can see where I've left some areas uh, bare of the Black Templar. And I'm going to paint a more sort of human uh, skin tone into these areas. Um, I've got Rackarth Flesh from Games Workshop. The claws I will leave to do a different colour. I don't mind at this stage if there's a bit of overlap between uh, the fleshy bits and the hairy bits. Um, I'll sort of be blending that with some washes later. This is some ivory from Vallejo. And I'm picking out eyes and teeth and claws. A size zero brush to do this fine detail. I am going to wash the skin areas. Um, this is some Army Painter Flesh Wash. Uh, diluted one drop flesh wash to one drop quick shade mixing medium. Um, and then I have some Games Workshop Purple Wash, which I have barely uh, dripped my, uh, dipped my brush into. And then I've mixed that up with the flesh wash and medium. If it overlaps the fur, no matter. But I'm going to try and keep it off the claws and the teeth.
This is Army Painter Light Tone. And I'm going to use it to wash the claws and teeth. I am going to do some simple highlighting. Um, with my big dry brush, I have some Vallejo Game Wolf Grey, appropriately enough. Um, this is a light blue grey, and it'll just help pick up a little bit of fur as I brush it over, just to add a very slight highlight. While I was waiting for um, the wash to dry, I have given the base a dry brush with some Vallejo Deck Tan. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting, just getting the base colours out again. So Rack Arth Flesh to do the skin. This is the ivory again. Re-highlighting uh, the teeth and the claws. One of the last things I'm going to do is I'm going to try and blend where the flesh meets the fur. This is some Ari Painter Dark Tone. And I'm applying it to the areas uh, where the skin immediately touches the fur. Um, and just by darkening it, I hope to create a smoother transition. Between the two uh, materials. Unfinished group of werewolves and dark wolves. Two hours for painting, which is really good. I'm delighted with the results from such a quick process. And now I can get on the table, play some silver bayonet. <laughs>